This is Eyewitness News at 4, now streaming live on CBSN Philly. I'm Jessica Cartalia. Yuki is off. First at 4, children stranded, waves crashing. First responders come to the rescue in Atlantic City. The Joshua Brown shows us Good Samaritans pulled the children from the ocean. Incredible video of three children being rescued from the ocean in Atlantic City. Police body camera video shows the moment two police officers joined a Good Samaritan in bringing three kids ages 11, 9, and 8 to safety on May 18th. When we got there, two of the police officers, the class two police officers, were already in the water on the pipe with uh, there were three young juveniles, um, sisters and brothers. Uh, that were stuck on the pipe, the outfall pipe. A good Samaritan had already jumped in to help as the children were fighting forceful waves clinging to the pipe for dear life. And if you saw the footage, you'd see that, you know, we got everyone out of the water and, and uh, they were all, they, you know, the kids were cut up pretty good as well as the good Samaritan was, was shredded pretty good as well. For a good Samaritan who actually, you know, I think is probably largely responsible as well as the two police officers for not being one of those kids having, uh, having drowned. This was the second water rescue in the past week. Another Good Samaritan jumped into the ocean to save three other children on May 15th, pulling a four-year-old girl to safety. Beach season officially begins on Memorial Day weekend, so no lifeguards are on duty until then. Atlantic City Beach Patrol strongly urging folks to stay safe. Their motto, if you cannot see the lifeguard, the lifeguard cannot see you. We just always suggest that you only swim when lifeguards are on duty, and most especially if you're not an experienced swimmer in the ocean. You should nev never swim without a lifeguard present. Natasha Brown, CBS3 Eyewitness News. And Kate, it's so important to know about dangerous rip currents, especially as the temperature rises and more people start heading down the shore this week. I know growing up, we had to pay a lot of attention to this. Oh, because absolutely. Little arm. Yeah, absolutely. It's a scary, scary thing because you, uh, you usually don't know it's there until it comes up on you. So this is a good reminder, again, as we head into this weekend, the heat is on. People are going to be heading down to the shore maybe a week early before Memorial Day weekend. Let's talk about what rip currents are. It's a fast-flowing current of water. It actually extends from the shore to beyond the waves. A lot of people think they go side to side. They really go from the shoreline and then pull you out. And if you're looking like from the top of the dunes, it'll almost look sometimes like a dark area of water uh, amongst lighter water in the ocean. So that is something to look for. These are faster than any swimmer. You cannot outswim a rip current. And we're seeing these today. We often see these with a bit of an east wind, and the east wind has picked up today. We don't have an official uh, rip current warning or anything like that out, but certainly. Conditions are there as we saw from that amazing video. What to do if you're caught in a rip current? Relax, remain calm, don't try to swim back to shore against it, swim parallel to the shore, try to get out of it, stay near the lifeguards, and signal to the lifeguards if you can, if you need help. And again, as they just mentioned, very, very important if you're not a strong swimmer, do not swim in the ocean once the lifeguards have left for the day. We'll have more on the heat because it certainly feels like.